What is happening within you when you feel anxious? What kind of behaviors are you prone to perform that raise your anxiety? Several times in our lives we are being led to feel anxious. It is just a perception of the things that are happening. Just due to the fact of the stimuli that we are constantly receiving. As we receive a lot of stimuli from social media or other news platforms, we are constantly thinking that the world is what they want us to depict in ourselves. So we are imbuing all of those stimuli and we are shifting the perception of our reality. That's what creates the anxious thoughts. That's what start creating that kind of narrative in your brain. And also, in addition to that, the behaviors that you are performing in your life. If you are not taking care of yourself by sleeping well, by eating properly, and you are constantly having processed food or sugary things, of course that your anxiety will be raised because that's the secondary effect of having sugary foods or processed food that you feel anxious. All that rush of sugar starts to create toxic loops in your thoughts and your brain is not functioning properly because it has a binge eating behavior that you perform in the past moments. So if you start thinking and you have more curiosity for what is happening to you in the present moment, you are going to be able to really uh, detach from the perception of the things that are triggering you from the social platforms, from all the things that are happening around you, and you will place yourself in the present moment to ask Is it really something happening to me right now? Is this as bad as they think or they say it is? And questioning everything that happens around you will place you in the position of being more responsible of the actions and of the thoughts that you are having. Whenever we feel an anxious thought means that it's in the future, means that it's not happening, can mean that also you are creating some imaginary um, outlook of the things that are happening or will happen. And you are just projecting yourself into also the past beliefs and the limiting scenarios that you have in your past, whether with your parents, teachers, friends, or anything that you have seen in other people. It might not even your life, it might not be in your life, but you are just projecting the things that you heard, that you listen. It's just as doing this simple exercise. Just place yourself watching any kind of movie that talks about um, tragedy or war or, or aggression, something like that, and it will prime you to feel anxious. It will lead you to feel all of, all of those emotions. So it is not a surprise that many people is on the rise of anxiety because they are constantly receiving news of the things that are happening, because they are constantly talking about the same topic, because they are constantly discussing or having arguments with people about what they should or shouldn't do. So it is just a state of being that you can control whenever you place yourself in the present moment. If you are safe, if you are healthy, if you are in your house, if you keep the proper measures of taking care of your body and you eat properly and you sleep, you are going to be fine. You don't have to project anything in the future. You don't need external aids such as any kind of vaccination to protect yourself because the virus is vibrating on a, on a lower level and you are vibrating higher. That's the idea, to place yourself in a higher vibration and you will have that higher vibration whenever you detach from the toxic surroundings or toxic people that are just polluting your environment 
and the way you think about life. Life is what you make of it, not what other people want you to believe it is. So whenever we take action and power back to our lives to reclaim our perception, we are in control of what happens with our thoughts and we are not our thoughts. So it can be a random thought that just passed through your mind, but you have the opportunity to take it and just place it in another place. Just move it away from you because it is not yours. That's it. It was just a random thought. It was not even yours probably. So you are just doing your job, pointing the right direction to every kind of thought that you have. And some of them, some of them are going to go away by themselves whenever you place yourself in the present moment and whenever you question how really are you feeling in this exact moment. That's the idea to treat more in a much mindful state of anxiety. The more we place ourselves in present time, the more we question what is happening, the easier it will be to release any kind of anxiety that we are being placed on. Anxiety is just a perception, a wrong perception of the things that happen. And your body, your primitive brain, is designed to protect you. So you will feel certain kind of, of healthy anxiety because it is protecting you. But when you recycle thoughts or you take things from the outside and you make them yours, that's when anxiety can lead to more uh, disease. Disease is just a on equilibrium of your mind. You are in an unbalanced mind. You are not in homeostatic state. And you decide whether you want to stay in that place or you want to return to homeostatic thoughts. That's the idea of placing your mind and reclaiming your power and taking your perception back. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Liva. Thank you, Tere, for connecting here. And I hope that this message resonates with you and help some people to release some those kind of thoughts that they probably can have. Thank you very much. I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.